So you got your UR65. You were super stoked. Plugged it in. Flash the firmware. Be a heli sweet it up. Fly it. It's going great, but telemetry 30. What the hell is this? I'll show you how to fix it. Stay tuned. Oh, that's f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a Weeder 120. Nice. Alright guys, so you got your UR, UAV, UR65. Mouthful. <clears throat> Love it. It's great. But, you can't figure out why your telemetry is only reading like 30, 40 maybe. Well, here's what happened. Apparently, the, the firmware for the new beta flight isn't working properly and it's giving buggy telemetry so here's what we do went back downgraded it back to 3.3.1 to start with and boom telemetry is fixed so if you're having that problem plug it back in open up beta flight don't forget to go into the CLI do a dump save all your settings that you worked so hard to get in there Go back in, flash the firmware back down to 3.3.3, and then go ahead, fire it up, and you should see your telemetry back in action. Okay, guys, so here's what's happened. Uh, somewhere in FR Sky's firmware, a bug has happened that messed with RSSI on this board. So, if you don't want to just go back to the 3.3 versions and you do want to step for, forward to 3.4 or you already loaded 3.4, uh, there's an easy fix. What you want to do is connect back to your quad, go into the CLI, and type in set space RSSI underscore scale equals now in my case to make things right I had to put it at 120 to give me a full reading of 100 at 100 which you'd think be the top of the scale I was really only getting about like 80 something percent when I was close to it so uh, 120 is what we're going with here and we're clicking and that's in there now you as always with every command in CLI you press you type save that's going to reboot. All right, now mine uh, came at 42, was in that setting. And I did some backtracking because I do save all my dumps. And most of the ones I found, that setting was already like either 30 in, um, I think, 3.1. And in 3.2, that setting was 41. Mine was setting, like I said, at 42, so somewhere in the coding they messed up what those things meant and it is now taking that quite literal and setting the top of your scale at 40. Alright guys, so this is the flight when I change the scale to 100, you'll see it's slightly off down at 80. So that's why I ended up changing the scale to 120, but you'll see here that it is functioning and it is reading out as we go further and further away. It's just much better when I set it to 120. So again, I hope this video helped and please subscribe, like the video and let everybody know about the channel. Thanks guys and happy flying.